What is something a lot of people have strong opinions on while knowing little to nothing about it? High profile controversies, especially criminal cases behavior, whether it be in your community or international headlines. They did it why? They just did. Look at this arbitrary and hugely biased and badly sourced tabloid article, and so on and so forth. This is how witch hunts happen and lives get ruined. If you haven't looked at everything, just say you don't know. It's not hard. Nuclear energy. Mathematical order of operations. You should see the comments on those posts. People casually arguing with calculators over a basic algebraic equation. Criminal justice. GMO and organic food. Politics and government in general. Economics, especially taxes. I understand some basic concepts but I have nowhere near enough to knowledge to competently debate how the government spends its money. Edit, I know the government spends our money, you know what I meant when I used it. Also, lot of people here seem to think that the government doesn't know how economics works but I am confident you that they know a little more than the average person does. Religion, especially the non-Abrahamic ones. OHH everything. How a business operates. I seriously think there are a lot of people whose image of a big business is something from a cartoon. Edit. I can't word. You should have just wrote everyone start every single reddit debate in the comment section now. Go. Homeopathy. I know people who swear by it, it cured my kid and my dog while not actually knowing how it works. Most just conflated with natural or plant-based medicines. They're shocked when I tell them what it's actually about. Mainly the BS that is Dilution X1000. Water memory. ETC. I've actually had someone tell me often that she wished I hadn't told her because she was afraid it wouldn't work for her anymore. The Syrian Civil War. The Trans-Pacific Partnership. Software Development. Source. The Pokemon Go subreddit. As an example for every subreddit with a lot of posts like developer should do x or I don't get why x hasn't done y. In times of Facebook and clickbait, literally any bullet is sold to the mass. Hyping them up over a topic to have strong opinion about while well, nobody seems to check facts nowadays. Be it medicine, religion, politics, economics, anything. Feminism. There's a lot of knee-jerk hatred towards the movement, even from women. And that hatred is often directed at a caricature of what feminism actually is. I think the same could probably be said about most socio-political movements. Drugs. David Nutt led a study on what the impact was of pretty much all drugs out there. From memory, the worst four were, and I forget the order, crack, heroin, tobacco and alcohol. They took into account the person's health. The impact. What you'd do when you were on them. When you were off them. What you'd do to get more. How you'd impact those around you. How you'd impact society in general. It was a great starting point. People say it's illegal because it's bad we say that about a lot of things until they're legal. Loose example. The prohibition in the US. Edit. I've made a mistake on the rankings. No while well, since I read the book. Politics. Religion. Race. Genetically modified foods, different generations, egg baby boomers, capital X, Y, pretty much anything you can think of. I've realized that a serious amount of Americans hate socialism yet have absolutely no idea what socialism actually is. Gay parenting. Many studies have been conducted on the subject, and even the ones that were designed to look for the supposed evils of it. Didn't find any significant difference between kids raised by heterosexual couples and those raised by same-sex couples. More information. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Abortion. Particularly in Ireland. It's very easy for older male politicians to say they disagree with it. They haven't known and can never understand the absolute fear of finding out you are pregnant with a child you don't want and are not ready for. Financially or mentally. They cannot know the stress of making a decision and quickly. Getting the money together. Contacting a clinic in the UK. Booking a flight and accommodation in the UK. All for a very basic procedure that should be easily available to women. Astronomer here. 
It's amazing to me how many armchair scientists there are out there who want to tell me that dark matter and dark energy clearly aren't things. And instead it's just gravity that's wrong. Yes. It's very nice that you read that article once about modified gravity theories in a magazine that could explain things. But until you can provide me with a workable theory explaining how it's wrong your premonition doesn't really help much. It's much better to think about scientists as in the business of getting a theory from the theorists. And then trying to figure out how to kill it. In the case of dark matter, for example, no one is saying that it's definitely some cold material out there that doesn't interact electromagnetically. But so far measurements have pointed in this direction, example. And other theories of what it can be haven't held up as well, another example. Theories of modified gravity are really just not in this stage, or have been discarded with observations. Do I think it's weird as hell? Sure. But the universe tends to not care what we think. And frankly gravity is pretty weird to begin with. Food stamps. Et. It given the image that it is rife with abuse. The majority of recipients are children and the elderly. Yes there is abuse but trying to cut it out would potentially cost more than it costs and worse. A more complicated filing process would drop very deserving recipients from the program. Brexit. People were so ducking retarded to believe everything they saw. Because both sides were if the other happens earth will be destroyed. Female reproduction. How various contraceptives actually work. How many miscarriages go unnoticed. How non-surgical termination works. How few late term terminations actually happen. How outdated the public knowledge for nutrition of pregnant women, infants, and children is. Economics Jesus Duck. People think economics equals ethics. Transgender people rights. A lot of people have some sort of idea that it's some kind of whim that predatory surgeons take advantage of or something. And that if trans people went and got psychological help they would realize how wrong they are. The thing is, the general consensus within the field of psychology is that transitioning is the most effective way with dealing with the issue. Nearly every transitioning person is already seeing a therapist. Quite a large percentage of trans people will never even get a surgery, usually due to the cost of surgery and the effectiveness of non-surgical medical action. Their own computer, and whether or not their evil ex-boyfriend is making its cursor move strangely. Brexit. Genetically modified crops. Drugs. Crossfit. Veganism. Feminism. Edit 1. Jeremy Corbyn. Edit 2. Nuclear power. Edit 3. Racism. Food, between what calories are, gluten, gloss, and other stuff. Most people only know whatever last night's news program was spewing, yet are always ready to criticize your eating habits. I know it's junk. Leave me alone. I would go beyond politics and say the misuse of the left and right as a side for political position. It is so ridiculous sometimes. The threat of dehydrogen monoxide. The constitution of the United States and how it applies to them. Politics overall. For sure. Specifically, gun control was the issue that made me realize extremists on either side were equally stupid. I just want to note here that I used to work in politics. I am not a smart man and know very little about most things. I just happen to know a little about this one thing. This was an unnecessary disclaimer caused by me feeling self-conscious that I had to explain why I knew the first ducking thing about it and felt justified smacking down others. That is all. Ducking logic. Nobody who's bad at physics mistakenly thinks they're really good at it. But ducking everybody who is terrible at logic thinks they're amazing at it. And of course the problem is that explaining to them why they're incorrect, using logic, will not work. Feminism. No it isn't a synonym for man hate. Veganism. Lots of misconceptions about that one. Hillary. Seriously. Most of the people with a strong opinion of her can't quantify anything good or bad. In most cases. Being a woman is the most quantifiable thing for both sides. How the American healthcare system functions. Brexit. We're going to be paying for that. Reaganomics trickle-down theory has been proven backward and forwards, in economic models and at reality itself, not to work, yet they still believe, they still believe. 
that criticizing Islam is racist. It's a religion, not a race. Police shootings. Sure there are bad cops out there, but there are also criminals. People are so quick to judge a situation that they were not involved in, or have limited biased information on. They suddenly become experts in police tactics and demand justice when our justice system is working exactly as it is supposed to. There is a reason that grand juries fail to indict in most situations. It's because they don't have sufficient evidence that anything wrong happened. Now, I'm not saying that systemic racism doesn't exist. It probably does. And I fully support police body cams to answer those questions when something does happen. It's good for cops and the public. I'm just saying people shouldn't go running off at the mouth when they have no idea what they are talking about. Fracking. Hard to predict what the long term consequences might be. Addiction. Especially food addiction. It's so common for people to think it's a simple lifestyle choice to be super fat. Education policy. Everyone went to school. So everyone believes that they are an expert when it comes to education policy. Ref. Watch literally any video of a suburban helicopter parent talk about common core. The police force. I have friends who have never had any interactions with the police and they believe all police are terrible people. Another friend told me that a cop was targeting him because he was a college student. I asked why he got pulled over. He had a burnt out tail light. I know there are some bad officers out there. And a lot of implicit bias. But you can't hold on to that stereotype. Guns. Politics. Religion and Mac vs PC. Biotechnology. People that hate GMO foods generally can't define the word geen. Politics. The couldn't tell you who the vice president is. But around elections everyone suddenly has a deep understanding and knowledge of anything and everything. Gender identity and sexual orientation. And, by extension, things like bathroom bills, etc. Let me start by clearing a few things up. No there are not only two genders. No. Trans people are not mentally ill. Nor are they really just gay. No. Allowing people to use the bathroom of the gender they are, rather than the one that matches their genitalia, will not mean that bathrooms will suddenly become a free for all rape fest. Trans people legitimately just want to pee more than more than, and that's ignoring the fact that if a predator truly wanted to assault someone in a bathroom, it's not as if they're going to suddenly go, oh wait I have a D, looks like I can't go in there. Islam. All the Muslims I've ever known are among the most kind and generous people we can meet and have the privilege of knowing. Not terrorists or radicals. People who are asexual. I think it freaks people out to see someone not participating in the attraction seduction dating dance that most of adult society seems built around. The difference between Islam and terrorist groups in the Middle East, who were funded and trained by the West. Sex versus gender and gender dysphoria specifically everybody wants to tell you how easy it is to solve though just go with what they're born with ha 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 the by god methodicking united states constitution i have a law degree i've worn out three pocket editions reading it they cost less than a pack of cigarettes guys and it burns my damn biscuits to hear people talk about First Amendment rights being trampled on when they're called out for speaking stupid in public. So no one gets it twisted, First Amendment protections are when it's the government acting against individuals speaking out, not the guy on the next rustal when you proudly suck Trump D after 3 PBRs. Also, more people have strong opinions on the Second Amendment, which doesn't really touch individuals, and has more to do with formation of the National Guard, it also used to be one with the Third Amendment, while having zero goddamn clue about the intricacies of the Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendments that truly do, not to mention almost any amendment with a number above 10, it should scare every American, whether you're military affiliated or not. That more of your fellow countrymen know every season winner from American Idol than can tell you what the Bill of Rights really gives everything our troops are supposed to be fighting for. That lady who sued McDonald's after she got burned by their coffee. Global warming. There are a lot of people especially in political power who deny the effects of global warming. Equal rights. 
A lot of friends of mine have taken up the pitchforks in the name of women only to end up abusing men and looking bigoted themselves. The Bible. Being from the south. I have to hear about it all the time but most people can rarely tell me what's in it exactly. I went through 13 years of catholic schooling, came out a hard skeptic agnostic, and find that I know way more about its actual contents than the people that claim to be all about the Jesus life and whatnot. Same people generally can't grasp the concept of science. I find that the two usually go hand in hand. In the US. Their rights. There is a little more to it than. AMI being detained. PTSD and veterans in society. We have a really big stigma. Game versus game console versus console. The Trans Pacific Partnership. I've had arguments with people who had never heard of the measures devoted to ending child labor and slavery and guaranteeing workers rights. Not to mention didn't even know the final draft has been publicly available since last November to read on their own. Publicly funded Catholic schools in Ontario. Ketosis. Heaven forbid I mention that I cut sugar and most carbs from my diet. That doesn't work. You are wasting your time. Just eat clean. Meanwhile I've lost 40 pounds since February with zero working out and still drinking as much as I want. Just not beer sugary mixers. The 9 stroke 11 attacks from a structural perspective. Everyone thinks that because jet fuel doesn't burn hot enough to melt steel, the towers shouldn't have collapsed. The heat will weaken the columns. And once one column falls, the load is added on the floor below, causing that to fall, and so on. Economics. No matter how smart you may be, there's no objective historical data set that mirrors our current economic climate. Every prediction about how policy will affect the economy are nothing more than educated guesses pieced together from what little relevant evidence there is. We won't know for sure what the right solution was until years after we've chosen one. Feminism and other rights movements. Politics. Especially in Australia. Ugh. The lead up to the last election, the 2nd of July, was excruciating. UFOs. Nobody knows the truth, but everybody has a strong opinion. My best friend says, I'm sure, they exist. Other friend says, it's impossible. I went down a few pages and couldn't find this so here. Sports. Everything from the sciences behind them to the team affiliation including team, player managers, media decisions and strategies. Studying art or basically just art. This entire thread is full of people with strong opinions from people who know little to nothing about it. And yet, despite the title, they jump right in and go on being one of those people. People shouldn't circumcise their baby boys unless it is medically necessary, allowing them to choose what to do with their own D when they can consent. I guess when you have no choice if you are cut or not, you gotta jump on the circumcision bandwagon or you'll have to come to terms with what your parents did to you. Economics. It's fine to have different opinions. Since there are different theories and models. But most people don't have a clue what those theories and models are. Circumcision. Specifically in the US. Performed on newborn males. Brexit. As a Brit who has been intensely following the whole debate for almost a year and who studies British and European politics, I still cannot say with any certainty which side of the debate is right. When Americans who have not looked beyond a John Oliver segment on the topic begin waxing lyrical about how Brexit is wrong and how Brexiteers are racist and stupid it particularly irks me. American government. Specifically how and why it works. Economics and politics. Law to a certain extent as well, 